Hey, it's Chris at Wahoo again. Uh, I've got a quick compatibility guide for your new Wahoo Kicker. This video is going to reference the latest model Kicker released mid-2017 that has the best through axle support, but also has Kicker Climb compatibility. The Kicker is going to work on most styles of bikes, however, we don't recommend using it with single speed, track, or recumbent bikes. The Kicker supports both 650C and 700C road wheel sizes, and it also supports 24, 26, 27, 5, and 29 inch mountain bike wheel sizes. To check to see which wheel size you have, just look at the sidewall of your tire. Next, you'll need to know both the hub type and size on your bike. This information is typically found on the frame manufacturer's website, but there are two main types of dropouts for these bikes. The first and most common is an open dropout with quick release that comes in 130 or 135 millimeter spacing. The next are through axle bikes that come in 12 by 142 or 12 by 148. Out of the box, the kicker comes set up with 130 millimeter open dropout spacing with quick release. To convert that to 135, simply just turn around the non-drive axle adapter. For through axle bikes with 12 by 142 or 12 by 148, use the through axle spacer kit that we provide to you with your kicker. If you need help installing that, reference the link below and we'll show you a video on how to do it. Next, we're gonna take a look at your drivetrain. Out of the box, our kicker comes set up with an 11 speed cassette already installed that will work on any 11 speed drivetrain. However, the kicker is also compatible with nine and 10 speed cassettes with a 1.8 millimeter spacer that we provide to you. And for seven and eight speed cassettes, it's gonna require a few more spacers, so it'd be best for you to visit your local shop with help in setting that up. Now, if you need help installing the cassette, click the link below and we'll show you how it's done.